Hi everyone, welcome to a quick video about tyre sizes. Now, if you're going to improve the performance of your vehicle, be that a off-roading four-wheel drive or a race car, then tyres are a really good way to start. And often you're going to want to change the dimensions of them, either the height or the width or, or something else. Now, we won't get into the pros and cons of that because that would be 15 hours of videos, we're not going to do, do that right now. What I am going to do is explain um, the parts of a tyre and also what some of those measurements mean. So let's start off with the parts of the tyre then. Now, the entire assembly here is made up of two parts. You've got the rim, which is the metal bit, and then you've got the tyre around the outside, and we called it combined a wheel. So you go wheel, rim, tyre. Now, within the um, tyre itself, this bit here, which is the kind of the vertical part, we call this the sidewall. And then, over the top, this is the tread area here, or the tread face. All right, so now we've got those basics underway, let's look at some of the numbers. Now, this tyre here is a 21545R17. There's a whole bunch of other um, numbers on it, but we won't worry about those for the moment. And this one over here is a 235 65 R17. It's always written on, on the side there. Now what do those numbers actually mean? Well, we'll grab this one over here which is different again and this one is a 19550 R15. So what that means, 195 means the width of the tread which is over the top here like that. Now if you measure that it actually comes out to about probably 210 because the tyre's um, sidewall actually is a bit wider than the tread width so it refers to the tread width not the actual width of the tyre and that actually is about 195. Okay so that's the first measurement we do and that's in millimetres. The next measurement the 50 is a percentage Now that's where it gets confusing and that refers to the sidewall. So the 50 means 50% of the tread width. So if the tread width was 195, we should be able to halve that, go to about 10, and that should be the width of the sidewall, and it is. So there's no direct measurement of the sidewall. The 50 just means 50% of that tread width. Similarly, for this tire here, because it's a 215 um, 45, that would be 215 millimetres over the top and then 45% of that for the sidewall and for the four-wheel drive tyre that's a bit different again so that would be a total of 235 millimetres um, over the top but 65% of that as a sidewall. Okay now the final measurement is so I've got the 19550 R15. That refers to the size of the wheel uh, in inches. So probably best to look on this one for that. This one is the 21545 R17. R stands for radial. That's nothing to do with the sizing. It's just the tire construction. That means it's a 17 inch wheel. So from here to here across that, that will be 17 um, inches. And uh, yes, that's in inches, whereas um, the tyre width was millimetres and in the aspect ratio was percentage, tyres are confusing. So to summarise then, the 215, or the first number, is the width of the tyre. The second one is the percentage of that um, width on the sidewall, so 45% there. And then the third one is the diameter of the rim in inches like so. Let's look at how to calculate the overall diameter of tyres with the metric system. So to start off with we've got the tread width 315 millimetres, we've got the sidewall height 60% of that and then we've got the rim diameter in inches which is 18. Now here's the steps. Number one we calculate the height of the sidewall and to do that it's 315 millimetres by 60% gives us 189 millimetres. Now there are two sidewalls in effect so we've got one at the top one at the bottom so we multiply that 189 by 2 to give us 378 millimetres. 
Next we convert the rim diameter to metric, which is 18 by 25.4, and that's 25.4 millimetres to every inch, and that gives us 457 millimetres. Then we add it all up, 378 plus 457 equals 835 millimetres overall diameter. However, we don't talk about tyre overall diameters in millimetres, we use inches, so we convert it back to inches, 835 millimetres divided by 25.4, it gives us a 33 inch tyre and that's what we talk about with overall diameter. Now if all that sounds a bit complicated then just go to my website l2sfbc.com and you'll be able to use two tyre calculators I put together. One to do tyre sizing, you put your metric tyres in and that gives you a range of options including speedo changes etc. And the other one converting metric to imperial sizes and back again and that's what I'm going to explain next. Okay, now here's the second and older way to describe a tyre's measurements. And here's an example, 37 by 13.5 by R15. And here's another one, 33 by 12.5 by R18. The R stands for the radial construction, but that's not important for the measurements. So what does that mean? So let's take the 33 by 12.5 by R18. The 33 refers to the overall diameter of the tyre in inches. The 12.5 refers to the width of the tread, again in inches, and the R18, or the 18, stands for the diameter of the rim, again in inches. So that's overall diameter, width, rim diameter, and happily they're all in inches. So that's a much easier way to deal with things than mixing, mixing up various different measurements. So comparing the two then, here's our 33 by 12.5 by 18, and the equivalent size is a 315 60 R18. So 315 is about 12 and a half arm inches, pretty close, and 60% of 315 millimetres is around about 12.5 inches, and the um, 18 inch rim is the same. So thanks for watching, hope you found this video useful, please stay tuned for more on four-wheel drives, cars, towing, tyres, and whatever else I can find interesting.